So I think we may have a why don't they just. <gasps> we do? That's a thing we still do, isn't it? Oh, hold on. Why don't they just do this? Why don't they just do that? Why? Oh. <laughs> Such a horrible song. I need to, I need to update that. <laughs> Why so... do we do this oh, it's every so dumb. week? <laughs> All right, so let me figure out my little screen sharing thing here. I am the. Like, you guys are so much more like on this than I am. I'm always like, wait a second, hang on. Let me figure <laughs> and you've this been working out. from home for how long? Yeah, no, shut up. <laughs> um, so, Tripped Out Tech asked, why doesn't Peter J. Beck really build the Electron Heavy? And, and uh, this was sort of in response, I bet, to Peter J. Beck's awesome tweet yesterday. <laughs> this killed it, me. It was April 1st, everyone. Must oh, keep that in mind. this killed me. Um, I think clearly they just pushed a few together. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, but <sighs> I mean that, that's hilarious. But I thought Tim, you speak very well to this about why that is just not a form factor that makes any sense for the electron. For, well, for what they're and for just what they're for those doing. listening, he, the picture is hilarious. Oh, yeah. It's it's the the title is electron heavy finished, and it is so perfect. It's just a picture of what looks like a it literally looks like there's an electron heavy sitting in their factory. But it's, yeah, it's literally three cores pushed together and then two fairings parked in front of the two side cores. But yeah, well, I, I want to know why you guys uh, think, go ahead and unshare your screen because while you guys are telling me why you think it's not a good idea to do or why we may never see Electron Heavy, um, I will pull something up. So right, I imagine it would just add more weight than, is, than, than you would get any boost out of. Was that a dumb thing that I just said? I just know that I just know that they're such a microsat kind of company. They have this very specific use case, and um, and adding two extra boosters, it seems like a lot for something that's. It just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Ben, do you have a do you have anything to add to that? Well, because everyone would just accuse me. him of clickbait by copying SpaceX, obviously. And we don't want that. That's why they're not going to do it for sure. They mm -hmm. don't want to be seen as, yeah, copying SpaceX. Or yeah, because true. SpaceX, obviously, that was their novel concept. It's not like we had the Delta IV Heavy or like the <laughs> Titan Heavy or anything, you know, the Ariane 5. Nothing nothing similar to that where it's mm -mm. multi-core, you know, nope. in parallel staging. Definitely not. Mm -mm. So, yeah, he'd be copying SpaceX. Um, do you have any other insight or any other things? <laughs> Yeah, I go. I'll go with with Joe's the rocket equation there, the thrust to weight ratio thing. Yeah, clearly I never had any insights, so go ahead. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've got some news for you guys because uh, it's a real thing, or what? Go for launch, <laughs> <laughs> and there it is taking off. Oh, there were others I didn't see. Okay. So yeah, if you look at the rest of his feed, he just kept feeding the troll. People were photoshopping. <laughs> an electron heavy on the launch pad pretty convincing too yeah it's pretty good this absolutely cracked me up and then uh yeah <laughs> picture of, of electron heavy lifting off it's pretty convincing but yeah it will uh likely i won't say never because they peter beck was also extremely never. adamant that they'll never do recoverability because it doesn't make sense at the scale but here's, here's the thing. It's all always just about economics, right? They're servicing a market of uh, 225 kilograms to low Earth orbit. How many more customers will they get if they can make that number, say, 500 kilograms to low Earth orbit? What's, what's the market like where there's, will they be able to fly, will they get 10 new contracts from that? And at what price, right? How how mm. does that make sense to develop a vehicle uh, and the engineering time and then, of course, potentially throwing away or having to recover now three with helicopters or whatever, three more cores? You know, don't forget the majority bulk of the vehicle is those those first stages. Right. And the mass fraction of this vehicle is all about keeping it absolutely as lightweight as possible. So they they that's why they're not doing things like boost back burns or propulsive landing because they're already riding about the finest line you can possibly ride to be able to get 225 kilograms into orbit. Anything else detracts from that, really. Mm. Um, granted, of course, a heavy vehicle like this would be able to lift more. 
uh, the, the thrust weight ratio would actually go up since the side cores don't have like uh, anything on top of them to lift. The side cores are, are you know, so the thrust weight ratio goes up. Uh, you can you can throttle down the center core just like Falcon Heavy and Delta Four Heavy, uh, so that it can ride those boosters longer. But then you now have to you're throwing away three boosters instead of one to put up potentially twice as much. The economics of it just really probably doesn't make sense, and recoverability would be exponentially harder. Mm. Um, and especially if they're just barely able to recover and, and come through the the wall, they call it. Um, but their re-entry, because they, they don't do a proposal re-enter. They literally, and besides that, the Rutherford doesn't actually have a relight capability. Rutherford, oh, okay. once it starts up, it's it's going. It, it can't relight. And that's why, actually why we see the second stage leaves itself in a suborbital. Uh, it, it basically, well, it, it, two things. One, it, it gets into, it's not quite orbital, the second stage. And that way, the second stage ends up burning up. But that's also why we see that kick stage that they have because the kick stage is mm -hmm. what actually ends up doing the circularization burn mm -hmm. and doing all the other on orbit maneuvers because it can relight it infinite times and just poof, open some valves and go. So, um, so Rutherford can't do that. But also if you did have to have like the, the center core land for, you know, or recover further down range, it likely would just even 10, 20, 30% more speed will more than double the heat. Because don't forget, it goes up by the cube of velocity. Mm -hmm. Heat reentry heating goes up by the cube of velocity. So if the center core is twice as fast, it'd actually be eight times hotter. So um, there goes your surviving that wall, they call it. And yeah, it just it all just grows. Every every yeah. little problem you have that's already a problem for a single core, every one of those problems grows exponentially and has all now these there's tangential three of those problems. Now there's three of those problems, and there's three of this and three of that, and all these things. Um, I think if if they were to make a bigger vehicle, more capable capable vehicle, I think they would literally just scale up uh, exactly there. It, it, the three core thing is actually pretty inefficient. You get mm -hmm. uh, that's why like New Glenn is one giant mega rocket, one stick. That's why Starship is one stick. The multi core thing, um, not only is the mass fraction worse because you have small more smaller tanks compared to one big tank. One big tank volume uh, compared to three small tanks will always be more hmm. mass efficient. Okay because volume goes up by cube to or by cube compared to the square of the actual surface area. <laughs> Sorry, these are all weird things. Um, but I think the, the best thing they could do is say, I think their, their cores are like 1.3 meters in diameter. If they wanted to do an electron 2.0, I think it'd make most sense to do like a two meter core and mm -hmm. put instead of nine Rutherford engines, put 15 Rutherford engines or something, you know, and just scale it up in that sense. Um, they'd, yeah. they'd get a lot, it'd be a lot more manageable and, and increase their mass fractions and, and be a, a better heavy lift vehicle. Um, but I don't think they really would. Well, I just think it's funny how quickly people want them to do something new, <laughs> you know, <laughs> a um, company that's been flying for two and a half years. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and their entire business case, unless I'm wrong about this was to just like pump out hundreds of these things and just be launching, 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 launching from multiple places Mm -hmm. And uh, and they haven't quite gotten to that. Haven't quite gotten. <laughs> haven't and quite and gotten. Te Texan talking there. That, that's my <laughs> quarantine speak. Um, <laughs> but anyway, they haven't gotten there yet, and they're working on it, and and everything's going great. And uh, uh, this is fun. He was clearly having fun with yeah. this, and other yeah. people were clearly having fun with this. But but there's a lot of people who are seriously asking, like, why don't they do that? And it's like, well, yep. give them time. Let them <laughs> let them get yeah. let them get to the to where they they need to be for their business model. And let and them maybe pay then off they the can iterate on it. Let them pay off and start profiting off of the work they've done before they right. try yeah, to expand yeah, yeah. on their market. You know. And but I mean, let, let's let's also give them credit. I mean, that just shows how excited people are for this true. company and what they're doing. You know, yeah. they definitely are. Uh, I'd, I'd say they're way up there considering like how, uh, how long they've been around and the actual, you know, the number of launches compared to their excitement ratio. I think they yeah. engage with the community, um, on a really high level, you know, they're, right. they're awesome and they just do such a good yeah. job on social media. They're just such a fun company. So right. it's, yeah. it's hard. Fun. To, that's, the, that's the right word for it. Yeah. I really want to go see a it. launch sometime. We should, <gasps> our ludicrous future goes to New Zealand. If we can ever travel again. <laughs> but we have to get years. there by sailboat. <laughs> mm. so, so it'll yeah, take so several we... weeks. <laughs> by, by dinghy. Hey, let's do it. We'll row there. <laughs> we'll be ripped. Heave! Heave! <laughs> row, you bastards! <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, thanks for checking us out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our podcast. We do a weekly show here on YouTube, so make sure and subscribe to Our Ludicrous Future, where we discuss all the things that are going to make our future totally ludicrous. You can join us here on YouTube or at any of your favorite podcast places. Plus, if you want to get some behind-the-scenes stuff and join a cool community, you can help support the channel at patreon.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.